It's very hard to build a good robot. But what if you built a robot that was just good enough and used people's skills to help it? You could do this through symbiosis. This is Boxy. Boxy was a robot developed at the Responsive Environments Group at the MIT Media Lab. It's a documentary gathering robot. I need help. If you can help me, press the green button on the side of my head. So as you can see, Boxy uses cuteness as one of its main uh, human gathering mechanisms. It tries to get people to help it, right? And people want to help cute things. I think you can see everything on this slide is pretty cute. Um, and there's some reason built into us why that's so. Uh, we had actually started with this plastic chassis, which undoubtedly is not cute. And we moved to this cardboard uh, cutout that was more organic and nice. Um, and by, by using different materials, we found one was much better than the other. One thing that Boxy does that most other robots do not do is that uh, it asks for help, and it gets stuck. Generally, you don't want a robot that gets stuck, but if you want to look helpless, you definitely do want to get stuck. <laughs> Let's see Boxy ask for help. <laughs> uh, the main innovation here is that asking for help and the fact that you can change uh, Boxy's behavior based on what's happening. How would you get a robot up a flight of stairs? Interesting. There's the director's office. We've stepped outside. Let's go upstairs, the third floor. Okay, so here's a ping pong table and some people. Let's see what they're doing. Wow. So you can see Boxy was pretty successful. It got itself up a flight of stairs. Um, we did measure the success since it was a documentary capturing robot in the documentaries that it captured, and it did meet a lot of people uh, in its travels. What is your name? Aaron. Benjamin. Agnes. Santiago. Sigi. Star. Asa. Adriana. Marina. Becky. Dan. My name is Henry. Spinsman. Celine. Johnny. Alaska. Uh, a couple newer robots were Nate and One One. These were built at MassArt for the Artbots Festival. And the difference between them and Boxy were that they had different personalities. One was very happy and one was very sad. But I found that people weren't so uh, trustful of the happy one and really related to the depressed one. That was <laughs> kind of went around like, oh, I hate it. my wheels are tired. Um, so what does the future of robotics look like? Well, I think people and robots are going to get closer. And I think it's going to make sense for us to form these relationships with them. Because I think we're going to need to help them out, and they're going to need to help us out. And if they don't need to be as complicated, because they use us, all the better. But of course, with any research, you have to really test things to the limit. So we did one last thing with Boxy. You know any I think cool like. dance move? I put on some music so you can rock out. Here we go. Keep in mind, this is someone dancing in front of a robot on the floor. <laughs> Thank you very much.